In Bloomington, there are more than 368 miles of roadways and 142 traffic lights, 71 of which the city owns and maintains. Next time you're stopped at one of these signals, take a closer look and see if you notice a small change with big benefits. In this field, the technology is changing constantly and we need, to, we need to stay abreast of that. We need to stay educated and we need to make sure that we're implementing some of these uh, new technologies, LED, which is of course the big one. In 2001, just the red bulbs were converted to LEDs inside Bloomington's traffic signals. The project was put on hold for a few years while the LRT made its way into Bloomington. And as of last year, 98% of the city's 71 traffic lights were converted fully, outfitted with red, yellow, and green LED lights. An incandescent bulb uh, runs roughly about $2.75. Now, an LED can range anywhere between $45 and $75 a piece. But uh, one has to remember it's only using about one-sixth of the energy that an incandescent bulb uses and last much longer, allowing signal technicians to focus on preventative maintenance. There's far less bulb burnout. They can last for 10, 12 years. And with that, we've now been able to concentrate more on the preventative maintenance. We've been able to uh, update the older infrastructure because we haven't had to respond to so many calls. So with that, uh, uh, that certainly has helped out uh, the city of Bloomington's traffic maintenance tremendously. Preventative maintenance includes checking the settings and timing of the light, lubricating the screws to continue easy access for the future, and opening up the signals to make sure the wires are intact and that the box itself is without critters. Uh, one of the issues we tend to have with uh, the signal heads is uh, with mice. Uh, this intersection especially is a big, big issue. Um, Wherever there's a large area with a lot of weeds and stuff like over there, the mice tend to, to get up in the heads and chew on the wires and all of that kind of stuff. So, And as a motorist, there is something you can do to aid traffic maintenance crews in their signal work. If they have any, any issues they see with it being as simple as uh, one of the indications are out, uh, they can call the city and uh, I, actually, I believe there's a form they can actually do online these days now. So just any, any th with all the eyes out there in the city, any help they can give us to send us, you know, let us know where we got to go work on stuff. It's bright ideas like this that continue to move the city of Bloomington toward red, yellow, and a more green future.